Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a little something different. This was highly requested, so I'm gonna be taking you around on a little tour of my studio. It's kind of like my office studio where we film YouTube videos, where we shoot and style different campaigns. Uh, we style our prints for the shop, that kind of thing, and then just kind of take you around, show you our equipment. I'm gonna be linking everything down below. I have a few DIYs in here as well that I'm gonna be talking about, so hopefully it's fun and informative and you guys get some good little ideas out of it so without further ado let's get into it off on this wall in the studio and this is kind of like where I kind of love to keep inspiration where I like to style prints books shoes bags that kind of thing anything I'm really like loving of the moment so up top here I just use these Ikea little cork boards and I got a set of two and they come with the little pins as well so that's perfect and you can see some of my new prints are up on here pictures of Lucy pictures from travels little magazine cutouts little quotes or sayings of things that are inspiring me right now I pinned that out of, I clipped that out of the Magnolia Journal, fun little Vogue title. This is an old photo of Neil and I actually, I think this is from two or three years ago. I had long brown hair. Um, and so it's just kind of like a fun little area that I can switch up every season, add anything that I'm really inspired by, and just kind of create a fun visual mood board. I love Pinterest, but I always, always love having like a physical mood board, vision board that I can see, and I work from here, so whenever I look over here, I can kind of like see what are the colors, what's the mood, what's the vibe, um, and that's always fun. I love putting like really meaningful reminders as well. And then right here is my fun little hat wall, and um, I also have a little hat wall in my bedroom uh, at the condo, so this was fun to recreate here um, because I have so many hats. So all I did was I used these little command hooks and they have like this really pretty little crystal so it kind of looks nice if I take the hat off it doesn't look like something weird on the wall so it kind of just adds a little glam but these do not damage your wall they're so easy when you want to like let's say if you wanted to like remove them or um, stick something else here just kind of switch it up all you would do to remove it is pull down this tab and it would come off and it doesn't damage your walls it's such a great little hack so I'm gonna link the pack um, down below and I just kind of have set these up so I started on this side and I put one up or Neil did and then I kind of set a hat next to it so that we could figure out the spacing of how you know how far apart we wanted it because the brims are big and most of my hats are kind of that size anyway and if it doesn't reach I kind of like that they overlap as well I just think that that looks so pretty so that's what's underneath that. And then I have this cute little bench from Ikea. You can see my reflection. Hey, I'm wearing these cute little slippers. Um, and I got like this little print here from Target, but it kind of goes like with my new collection of prints as well. This is one of my prints here. It says, when you focus on the good, the good gets better. And it's from the Grace Filled Living Collection. Down here are some fun little rainbow ceramics that I purchased from this seller. I actually found her on Instagram. I'll link her as well. And then I just have like a little candle here from Target. I haven't even used it. See? And then over here I have this actually, I believe I purchased this from Ikea as well. And it's just like neutral. I could put like fresh flowers in it. I kind of just leaving it empty and just having it as a layering piece. Then I got some coffee table books, like magazines, that kind of thing that I can stack here. A fun little bucket bag for spring. And then I've got it on the Ikea bench and then some cute little slippers on the floor over there. And it's just become like this really cute, unique little 
styling area for my prints, for anything I'm really inspired by of the moment or of the season. And then on the side here, I've got my pompous grass. Um, I will link to the seller. There's like a bunch on Etsy. Um, and I just like love the texture of this. I love it in the fall, but I also love it all year round. Um, I just think it's super, super pretty and neutral. It fills up the space really nice. And I have this old little Target vase on the floor there. So that's this little section. You'll notice that I film a lot of my YouTube videos over here. It just serves as a nice background and a nice little inspo area. Moving over here, this is where I work from and this is also where we record our podcast that's going to be launching soon. So this is a table that we've had forever from Ikea. You'll notice that we love Ikea in here. Um, and then this rug is also from Ikea. We just kind of wanted something that felt very like studio-ish, like a recording studio so that like fun like vintage -y kind of vibe. But we got it in like a light grain. You wanted a red one to make it super you know, studio-ish, but it didn't really go with the vibe. So the chair, the chair is really fun. I'll twirl around afterwards so you can see. The chair, the table, and the rug, they're all from Ikea. And then under here, I just have a cute little basket that I purchased. I actually got this from HomeSense. And inside are our microphones for our podcast. And these are the Blue Yetis right here. I'll link them down below. We got white ones. We wanted them super chic, you know, for the podcast. Um, so we just kind of keep them here in a neat little basket. Any cords or that kind of thing are all stored over here. And then on my table, I thought it would be fun to kind of share like what's on my desk. I usually have um, just like natural almonds in here to snack. I usually have like a few a day and then I'll have like a fruit as a snack. Um, this is my AirPod case. I cannot find... I remember getting it on Etsy or Amazon. Um, I think it was Etsy, but I can't find it anymore. But I'll find something similar, but I love that it says Vogue on it. And then I've got my little Target uh, Create Cultivate collab. I actually ripped it, which makes me super sad. This is the monthly planner for 2020. These pens I got from HomeSense, and I really, really love them, and I love the little nudie pink. Got some more samples for my print shop underneath there. I'll link my print shop as well down below. You guys can go check it out. And then I gotta have my Yeti. I drink three liters of water a day, guys. Gotta stay hydrated. I love that this like little sand color matches with my whole vibe. There's like super fun colors, pink and turquoise and purple. But I just went for the sand color. I love it and it just kind of keeps me on track, keeps my drink super cold, which I love. My girlfriend Anna got me this weekly agenda that I love so you can like go through and write down what you want to do for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, and then you've got like an area for notes here. So I love like just being able to open this and like see my week at a glance. And then also I love check marking things. So I just love those little circles. Super pretty. I believe she got this from Anthropology. And then these are my blue light glasses that I always talk about. Um, these are the Desi Perkins times key collab and I'm gonna link them down below. They're great because if you're looking at a screen nonstop, like me, just working at you know your computer or looking at the phone, my job requires me to. These are great because it just helps your eyes not strain so much from the blue light. And it's also great even for like UV light from the sun outside. So I love wearing those. This is my little moon dish. And I believe I got this from Etsy. It was just a cute little um, clay little dish for rings, that kind of thing. I can keep on my desk here. This candle is also from Target. This is from Target, this little faux fig. I love real florals and plants and that kind of thing, but um, since like we don't live here, this is an area that like would, you know, you'd have to constantly water it or that kind of thing. So faux plants all the way. I don't have to worry about anything dying. It kind of gives my space a little bit of color, but of course I love real plants, but this also works. And this is from the Magnolia collection for Target. And I just love the little pop of color on my desk. It makes me happy. And then this is my body lotion. It is winter right now and it is so, so drying outside. And I just recently purchased this. It's awesome, it's fragrance free, it's super clean, like no junk ingredients in there. So really, really love that. I keep that on and just kind of 
rub it on my hands, my arms, that kind of thing, just to keep me hydrated during the day a little, you know, just a little pick me up. And then I've got this little uh, garment rack over here to the side where I have like any new pieces that I'm shooting or need to shoot or need to um, try on because it's come in from the mail. So this is great. This rack is also just from Ikea. You know, you can put a little hat here. You can put your shoes at the bottom over here. And then I've got like a little bag hanging off to the side. It also just works so well with my palette. And so I love that everything kind of like speaks to each other and it feels really cohesive. But yeah, oh, I also forgot about my little leather uh, mouse pad that I will include down below. I believe it's from Etsy. Um, and then if you look behind me, I've got a gallery wall. So when we were originally going to start shooting our podcast, we were gonna do it for YouTube and like mini cut downs and that kind of thing, but it's just, it's a lot right now. So we may do it in the future, but we created this gallery wall originally for the podcast. So uh, I'm gonna get in closer here so you can see. This is actually the promo photo for the podcast. We shot this, my friend Anna, Anna with love, she shot this for us and I love it. I just love these photos of us. Um, works in with our perfect palette here. Actually, this wall is almost like identical to the color of this wall and this wall color is coconut by Seiko. So I'll include that in the below. The frame is just Ikea. We've got a little wedding photo. We wanted it all to tie in with things for the podcast, but it also kind of works that it's for the office as well. Um, so a little wedding photo, this cross, it's kind of like unique because um, I love like the little tassel. It's kind of more bohemian like me. So um, I got this from Hobby Lobby. Then this photo I've had forever, it was in our condo, and then I just moved it over here, but it's got the white horses, and white horses always remind me of Jesus. Um, so in Revelations, he's coming back on a white horse, so I just wanted to include that. Just a little bit of mix of everything, our faith, our relationship, our pup, just we have like kind of all these meaningful things on here, so it means something uh, different and special to us. Then we've got our engagement photo here that I love from Santorini, a little rainbow, and then this fun little board that we can put like different like episode names or different quotes or whatever that kind of thing. I'm sure you guys have seen these letter boards. So we just put Jolly Ever After on here because that's our podcast name. And then of course our little babe Lucy, she's here in the corner. So that's our little gallery wall behind the desk. And then on this side of the wall, it's a lot more masculine. This is actually Neil's area and it's also our lounge area. We brought in our old coffee table from the condo. We have a round one right now. So this is just nice we can put our feet up here, strategize, get comfy, cozy, make notes, read, take a break, have a little coffee or tea, that kind of thing, and I love it, but it's also a space where we can record and film. Uh, Neil uses this space a lot more. This paint is also uh, from Seiko. If you missed it, we did like a whole like studio repaint and like redesign kind of thing last year, which was fun with them. And then a lot of these pictures, Neil took them himself, uh, which are awesome. These are like some Huntington Beach. That's Florida over there. Um, there's like a New York one up here. And then this fun little board, cork board, is a map and you can actually pin where you've been. So I've pinned all the places on here for him that he's traveled to in India right here. <laughs> um, so I love this because it's very Neil, he loves to travel, that kind of thing. And we wanted the studio to be a functional space for both of us to be able to create content. This is a fun little Target sign from Magnolia. Got a little Ikea fiddle leaf faux fig there in the corner. These pillows, this pillow is from Target. These uh, palm pillows are from H&M that I just found and they're such a good deal. They're like way cheaper than the trendy ones that are out there right now. This couch is actually one that we had in our condo when we first moved in, but it was just too small and we have an L couch now. So it ended up being perfect for our studio here. Um, yeah, so once again, 
table is uh, a link down below uh, it's still in stock but love 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 this it's a nice little marble uh, table so it's perfect for here and then we got this faux plant from Target again with my faux plants this is from Target almost everything in this space is from Target the rug is Target the poof is Target um, and then this is like a little notepad inside here for Neil got a little travel uh, magazine on the corner here just to kind of flip through get inspired and then we have our grateful gratitude candle that we light um, and that is our little lounge area here the corner I just have this fun little home sense basket that we can put like magazines and miscellaneous stuff so it's all nice and functional then on the side here I have our ring light I'll link uh, to some ring lights but this is great because you can like hook up the phone here or your camera so it's nice and stabilized so whenever we film for YouTube we have a little ring light to make the lighting nice and beautiful and then we just really use natural light from the windows because there are a lot of windows here. Lucy loves to sleep right next to me while I'm working so I got a little bed for her here all she wants is massages right now. Yeah! Oh a big stretch! Hi! <laughs> oh I guess! Hi! Can you go on your couch? Is that your little spot there? You like to work next to mom? Yes! Boop! Boop! She loves it here. So we just got this. We actually got this when she was a puppy and then she like ripped it up. <laughs> so we kind of kept it in a spare bed and then my mom actually stitched it back for us and she loves it. Look, she just gonna dig herself right in there, roll around. <laughs> Puppy friendly workspace, always, of course. There she is, a little vampire fang. Now she's lying down. So usually while I'm at my desk over here, she's just hanging out, sleeping, having a little snooze over here on this side or underneath my chair. This is like my favorite view here when I put my feet up and then I can just like see over to the desk and the inspiration board here. I just like love to kick my feet up and make notes and just hang out on this side. It is so nice. I just want to show you guys the view from both sides because when you look that way, you'll see, you know, the couch and the living space and that gallery wall. And then when I chill here, I can really enjoy, you know, that gallery wall over there and all of the things we have styled on this side. And it's just a really inspirational space that makes me feel creative. And we really, really needed something like this um, because there's only so much we can do in our condo. So I absolutely love it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour and it gave you some ideas. If you know, you're creating an office of yourself, if you're a creator. Um, I feel like there's helpful tips whether or not you're a creator or not, um, and just some functional ways to use the space for either your studio, for your office, for your living room, for your bedroom. I hope like the little DIY with the hats back here was helpful. I know a lot of you guys wanted to know how I do that. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see next. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you really like the video, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.